Oh, this is so tempting. This is so tempting. Oh. All right. We have like some sweetness going on, but I, and we can actually play this on curve if we wanted to. All right, let's keep it. Let's keep it because man, sacking, like how sweet does that sound, right? We sack the Titan to you up next list and then get it back with Olivia. Oh, that sounds freaking sweet. Uh, let's keep going here. So heavy, heavy potentially into binding? Going up against Rakdos. Vampires, all right, that's, that's interesting. I'm not gonna lie, that is interesting. Uh, yeah, let's go here, play heavy. Um, hmm. So hopefully they give us a window where we can play chariot, right? All right, so are they gonna kill our heavy? Okay, all right, that's fair. So is this anvil? Check for traps. <clears throat> kind of want to save our binding for anvil right i think that's the correct play so let's go here and we can check for traps next turn let's go this way now obviously the issue with that is we do give them an opportunity to harvester if you know what i mean they so seem fit so i wonder if we should just take in like a tempo negative play there and check for traps right but, like, if we Binding of the Old Gods and kill that, I mean, I guess it makes sure we hit our fifth land, right? Potentially our sixth? Okay. So they're obviously going to minus here, right? They plus. The plus is interesting. The plus, I feel, is interesting. So... Huh. Man... Just a little awkward on mana, right? <laughs> hmm. So we can do Titan. Titan crew here, swing. And that all but guarantees that we're gonna kill Soren. I kind of want to do that, honestly. Because once again, if they if they deal with Titan, right? Then we have the... Oh, this could be a meat hook as well, I guess. That might be what it is. They're going for the meat hook. Oh, and they could just... No, it's sorcery. That's right. Harvester is sorcery speed. Okay. All right. I don't, I don't hate this. I don't hate this. If they meat hook, they can't kill Titan nor Chariot, right? And next turn, we have the ability to... Heavy Olivia, right? Oh man, we can crew. Oh man, this turn is gonna be so sick. We can we can borderline kill them, right? If they don't wipe the board, I mean they could have hostile takeover. But if not, we fire up the chariot, right? If we draw our six land, fire up the chariot, play Olivia, swing, Demi, uh, the Titan can eat one of the cat tokens, and we get back the heavy. And that's, I mean. That's... Oh, what? Oh my goodness. Oh, this is freaking amazing. And we get to check for traps? Yeah, because we're going to have Nixless here. That's exactly what we came to do. We doing it, chat? We're doing it! You're doing it, Peter. Oh, this is freaking sweet. So we get to see if they have a counter spell. All right, so maybe this check for traps worked out pretty well. That was a pretty good draw. Okay. Oh, this is freaking sweet, man. Uh, I mean, we just take the direct damage, right? I don't know if I'm wrong on that or not. All right, so, oh, we're doing it. We're freaking doing it, guys. This is awesome. This is freaking awesome. Uh, all at you. Triggers. Uh, we copy the kitty and we stack the kitty. Oh! 
Oh, yes! They took it! They took it! Yes! Sack the big boy. Oh, yes. And you draw seven cards, my friend. Boom goes the dynamite. Yes! We could have done pre-combat too, but that was I think that was way more value than doing it and then copying another Omnixus, I think. Like, that wouldn't have been lethal versus... Maybe? Yeah. See, that gave us lethal. So I think that was the correct play versus we could have... We could have sacked pre-combat, make a dude, and then attack. So we have three Omnixus. I know that's kind of what we wanted to do, but the Titan was also the other thing we wanted to do. So yeah. Nice. Nice. Greetings, happy friends, and welcome back to the MTG Struggle Bus, where I struggle more playing Magic, so you don't have to. If you've ever won a game of Magic by forcing your opponent to draw cards, and then, uh, you may have come to the right place, because, uh, yeah, that's exactly what we're doing today. Jund, good stuff. We're trying to jund them out, my friends. We are playing all the cool things, but capitalizing on Obniculus. The adversary, right? One of the front runner top cards of New Capenna. We're running a bunch of things with heavy uh, attack to be able to sack two Obnixilis for maximum value. And of course, the goal is to verily beat our opponent down to like six, five, four, and then finally ultimate Obnixilis to get them down there. Um, we're also running Chariot, which means we're able to make copies of the Obnixilis copy. Let's see if we get to live the dream or not. We're running a Demigoth Titan because we do have some sack fodder that we can make, but more importantly, it is a way to automatically ultimate Obnixilis and a sweet, sweet card to get back with Olivia. So of course, we're going to play some early game, draw some cards, beat our opponent up a little bit, and then of course, we're going to start sacking things to Obnixilis and or our Titan and get them back for value with Olivia and or Junji. So a lot of redundancy in this deck. I like it. Um, so yeah, that's the deck, my friends. It's Jund. What can I tell you? Uh, so, shout out for this video goes out to Mangui Beerus. Mangu, I mean, I even practiced it too. Mango, Mangu Beerus. Mango, Mangui Beerus. Beerus? Virus. Virus. Mangu Virus. Mangu Virus. Thank you so much, my friend, for supporting the channel. I really do appreciate you. <laughs> ah, man, I'm so bad with names. One day, one day. Uh, but yeah, your support means a lot, my friend. We're slowly growing, and I appreciate you being part of it and looking at this ugly mug day after day. So thank you so much. You mean a lot. You rock. And uh, this Obnixilus Jun deck is for you, my friend. Three lands, all our colors, and a check for traps. Oh, I like it. I really do. I think we're going to roll with it. Um, Let's hold on the potential double spell and play it. Uh, proving grounds here just gives us access to the most things to do next turn i think that's kind of where our money lies so check for traps this turn like we can play this but i think I think we just leave ourselves the opportunity to go chariot next turn. Ooh, that's spicy. Okay, okay. Heavy, not bad. Um, we can go heavy. Keep applying pressure to the opponent. I'm trying to think of how punished we get. I guess the big thing. Yeah, let's go heavy. I think playing the heavy here, having the ability to block the champion and draw extra cards, I think is solid. That way we could stop the necro duality, right? Oh, jeez. Um, wow. <laughs> 
Ouch. Uh, that's actually pretty difficult, honestly. Another art school would be pretty horrible. They, we could play around them having the fourth land, so let's just take the arch school, I think, is the correct play here. Uh, let's go to combat and attack here. Granted, I guess I should have probably attacked first before doing that. Looks like we can take it, yeah, fair enough. I do not blame them. Uh, let's go double green. One, two, three, four. Good news is, if they do fire off... That is what we exiled, right? Okay, just making sure. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's try to get rid of these at least, I think. And that's awkward. I'm not gonna lie, my friends. That is awkward. I mean, I guess this lets them draw more, but they're choked on lands. Oh, wow. Okay. It's a good draw. Good draw. Um, go to combat again. And then let's go... Wow, really? Really? Okay. Uh, let's go chair... it. Yeah, let's go Chariot. Chariot will give us the option for like a chump blocker here if we need to. Hoping to draw our Me Hook at this point. Uh, luckily they're choked on black, so. So it's gonna be a pretty big buy. <clears throat> so these guys still can't kill our heavy. They're looking at some stuff, I don't blame them. I think this is fine, right? They're choked on land, so I don't feel bad. I mean, we're down to 10, so we definitely need to be careful about that. But the heavy... All right, all right. This is actually not too shabby. Not too shabby, my friends. We still get our token. This works out really well, actually. <laughs> I like this. She works out pretty well for us. Triggers. We get to draw a card. Ah, oh, so close. Oh, we have a blocker now. Nice. Nice. So they're doing that because they need their... Yep. So they have a couple options, but I think we're kind of in the driver's seat. Um, we played our land, right? We did. We played a... Kind of wanted like the heavy to die, to be honest with you. So hopefully we can trade. That'd be sweet. Oh, okay, so this makes just enough zombies. Nice opponent. Nice. So we can get back shambling gas. Not the worst. These can't block. So. Do we take it? That's my question. Because... Yeah, if we don't block, we can kill them, right? Oh, no. I think we do have to block, unfortunately. Uh, let's draw first. That would give us more information. Uh, Nixless. Hmm... Well, now I think we just take it, because we can... I'll mix this, this, and then play that. Yeah, I think we take it, honestly. No blocks. Get in there, right? Yeah, I think... I think we might have this, guys. Right? These attack. They... Yeah. Think they're tapped out. Oh my gosh, this is this is very interesting. All right, so they go block. They do block. All right, so we're at two. 
we could play another blocker. So play our tap land, right? And then go. So we're gonna gain some life, right? Play here. Sack the heavy. All right, all right, all right. I think we're doing OB. You sure you're OB KB? Uh, go here. Right, and then we can. Gosh, so close to minusing on them. Um. So. Minus, and maybe that's wrong. Go sow some chaos. Do I have to double minus here? I think I no, right? Yeah, because. <laughs> I don't remember if we draw gain the life or not. So I think I go this way. I think. Because the problem is I don't remember if they could discard if we gain the life or not. So that's my issue. They can't activate that, right? This is gonna get bigger, but it doesn't have trample. So I think we're good right okay i think we're good they attack with all three. Oh no attacks wow and they don't have a flyer i mean this just ends it right oh no it kills planes all right so uh plus here first Right? Go ahead. Plead for mercy. Okay, we do gain life. Oh man, so we definitely should have done that last turn. <laughs> plus Your plus. Punishment is my entertainment. So if we go Olivia. I think we actually are good. Olivia, go to combat, attack here, and get back the heavy. I think that's correct. I wonder if we should have just fired off the verdict. Thing is, they have to double block, right? Go like this. Yeah, I, I think we got it. I think I think we have it. All right? Or should it have Yeah, we're at six, we're good. That's yeah, 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 we're fine. We're fine. They kill that. We can crew here, so we have another blocker. They played a land, so I think we got it. Okay, cool. It took me a second. Sorry, guys. Math. Math is hard, but I think we got there. And I think they're reading the writing on the wall. So we just let all that happen, right? Yeah. All right, cool. Wow, that was close. That was very close. We're on the play. We have all our colors. So the question is, do we think a blood juice is going to be enough to get us there? I think we're gonna give it a shot. I think we're gonna give it a shot, my friends. Right? I mean, we literally just need a land. We're on the play, so we can hopefully kill our opponent. Yeah, on turn three, we kill their two drop. Yeah, that seems reasonable. I think it is well within our wheelhouse that we're capable of doing that. We'll see if, that, if it actually plays out that way, but... Ooh. Well, that's a little scary. Uh, we can hold the fact that we're Jund a little bit longer. Blue. Blue, white. No foretell. Well, then, we're going to slow roll. I don't... I mean, there's really nothing we could do anyways, right? So... Hmm. <laughs> Hmm. 
the question is do we think it's droid disruption or do we think it is uh despair disappear you know what it's disappear because if it was droid disruption they would have played it as a land so yeah we're just gonna run it out there um hopefully they play their lens because i want to see how this hand does so we're gonna lead off with war chief Ooh, okay i see how this works out okay cool so let's let's do well no actually you know what because we can no no let's just war chief that way we can attack with more things uh, yeah, so let's Warchief gain some life, because we know they have a card here, right? Like, there's no way they don't have a phase or something. So, let's just tax that, right? Versus Blood Chief Thirst, and then throwing it off. I mean, we could double, but I don't think that's exactly reasonable either. So, getting in there for 8, so they're gonna block and then phase it, that makes sense. So I'm glad we did it this way, right? Because I would feel bad if we only got in there for exactly uh it would have been zero. So at least we got a, a chip in there. So now we have the ability. Yeah, right, we have triple black. So we can lead with mm, that guy's a little scary. So we can play, yeah, we're just gonna overwhelm this deck. So, let's try to kill... kind of want to try to kill the Storm Chaser. They get to draw... No, because they don't draw a card to save the Virtuoso. So, I think it's correct to go after the Virtuoso. I mean, putting counters on it is a little scarier, right? But, they, like, break even, <clears throat> right? So, I think that is worth it. Uh, sweet. Let's kill the... Well, shoot. Now I want to kill the flyer. Yep. And then we can... Boom, boom. Suit. And then get in there. I think this is correct. I feel like that's correct. To be completely honest with you. It's a little bit slower on the... I guess we didn't really need to attack with that one. Um... This feels good to me. It feels good to me. Security bypass, so they're gonna draw two cards, I believe, because a double strike, which is super cool. I don't think we're dead though, thankfully. Right? This is gonna make it a five, so that's ten. They can do another two. So they can do twelve damage to us, right? Let's see if we get lucky and get a blitz off the top. I mean either way we're fine. Because Four, yeah. And they're swinging in. Doesn't have vigilance, does it? Oh, it does. Wow, nice. Yeah, ooh. Thank goodness for the life gain, man, from Warchief, huh? Talk about some action there, my friends. Talk about some a Ooh, that's right, yes. Uh, man, so we... I forgot about that. All right, good game. Yeah, because of the trample, oh. I mean, they had first strike though, so. Eh. Hmm. Do something on one, and then just kind of sit for the rest of it. Not 100% sure on this one, guys. Hmm. Feel confident our deck's got enough threats in it. I think we'll be able to get there. Ooh. Okay, okay. Um, let's slow roll our opponent for next turn. Because the thing is, we can go a mix list to treasure that lets us play Junji, and that feels pretty good. The problem is, straight red is an issue. Well, at the same time, maybe not. Ooh, I almost messed that up. I'm not gonna lie, I almost messed that up. Uh, let's get him for one. And then do the thing. I feel like this is reasonable. I don't mind stacking it that way. And... I'm the, new boss, so the question is, do we plus Join both me. times? I don't think or so. Die. I think we give them the opportunity. 
Go ahead. Plead for mercy. Because they can only play one thing here, right? Or they double play with fire. That's par for course for us, I'm not gonna lie. That would be very much par for course. So we shall see if we get wrecked here or not. They're in the tank, so that bodes well for us, right? That kind of means they're trying to figure it out. See if there's a way they can kill both. Like, I have no doubt they can kill at least one here. Question is if they're able to strangle you. Don't think you're some big hero. Alright, cool. So we get to keep one at least. Yeah, we're definitely gonna keep the one. I mean, yeah, that'd be Blood Chief's thirst. Plus first, and then we'll play Junji on him. Coin or cottage. Tribute is owed. <sighs> Sorry, guys. I like this one. I like this one quite a bit, though. Alright, let's see. So, notice how they didn't activate it. They wanted to hit their fourth land drop. Let's see for what. They can't fire off the den. They could double spell. Okay, fair. fair My enough. empire crumbles. Uh, let's see if we draw something good. All right, we get to get in there and we get to play heavy. All right, this is not too shabby. Let's make our shadows verdict a little bit worse for wear, but I think it's okay. Because we're going to get to draw a card, right? And then they have to give us another card, so... <laughs> there we go. There we go. That's what's up. Uh, yeah. Let's go to combat. Let them draw us a card, because we may still get our fifth land. No, but that is just as good. Uh... Alright, we're going to chariot, because we're going to try to live the dream here. Yeah, we're gonna try to attack with heavy, draw a card, then up Nicholas. Oh no, no opponent! Ah, uh, alright, we got there. Nice. Feels like a pretty awkward hand to me. We're gonna mulligan this. <clears throat> alright, we're gonna we're gonna keep this one and let's tuck. Hmm. I think we could tuck a Briar Bridge. I want to keep our Border Wipe in hand. I know it's five and it's a little ways away, but in case we fall behind, I want to have a bit of an insurance policy. You know what I mean? Um, that way, if push comes to shove, we can wipe the board. Blue, white. All right, let's take a peek under the hood, shall we? Uh, let's go red. You know what? Uh, yeah, I think we could. I think we can. They counter this, and that's one less counter they have for something like our heavy or a tracker. Destroy disruption. Fair enough. So easy one for one. Nice. Uh, let's play the heavy. We want to try to play the tracker when we know it will resolve. It will resolve. That way, we have a higher chance of being able to draw a card. I got mending. This is interesting. So, what do they got going on here? What do they got going on? Is the question, my friends. Hmm. So, obviously, they have some kind of graveyard shenanigans going on. If not, why wouldn't. Oh, sweet baby Jeebus. Alright, that's interesting. That is interesting. So they're going to give us a card, and then they're going to Faithful Men again. Alright. Well, let's see what happens here. Don't want to play the Tracker into this, right? There's a good chance this is a board wipe. They took it. That's very interesting. We have our double black. Let's get our double green, and we'll simply hold here. I think that's correct. I feel like that's correct. Nice. Now we're talking. 
So now we can resolve a Junji and we can get back their uh, Sanctuary Warden, right? I always forget that every time. I'm not even gonna lie. Every single time. Uh, just don't need double red. So yeah, we'll just go Junji here. So this could be a Unleash the Starheim, right? Okay, okay. That bodes well. That bodes well. Um. Uh, is it another one? I feel like it's another one, so let's just track her, not attack. I just don't like this position, right? Seems a little suspicious. They can get their two for one here. Okay, that, I mean, they can also fire off the faithful memory. Such a difficult interaction. So we just, anytime, I guess anytime they leave up four, we just don't attack. I feel like that was an emperor, but they know there's no point in playing it if they can't get the removal side of it. So even then though, it's kind of suspicious or difficult to play around because if we swing in, right, then all they do, they take it. There's the Doom Scar. So do we make them discard? I don't think so. I think we're just gonna pay the two life and get their angel. And we're not gonna eat a counter. We're gonna leave both on there. All right, I'll take it. Yeah, this one feels strong. We're on the draw, which is a bit of a bummer, but we can... Maybe we can live the dream here. Yeah, that'd be really nice if we can go Chariot into Obnixilis. Oh, that'd be so sweet. So sweet. I eh, don't know if we want two. I don't know if we want two Obnixilis. I guess we can run one out just to be, like, fodder, right? Force our opponent to make some less than great things. Ooh, that was a lucky draw for us. I'm not even gonna lie. That was a very lucky draw for us. I mean, they definitely have some better targets to hit, but like now, if they want to attack with, oh, the only issue. Oh man, actually that, that may have been a mistake because we won't get the treasure with Kumano on play. All these are exile effects, yep. Man, I should have thought about that for a second, though. Huh. So, do we just run this guy out there? I mean, they're just gonna take it. They're not gonna discard a card. It goes up to four. So, they have to do... They could charge him. That worked out a wee bit on the good side for the opponent. If we minus... We can block one. We still don't get the ping, though. So you know what? I think I'm going to just try to buy us some time. Yeah, I don't... I've conquered entire plains. <laughs> yeah, I think we just plus to force our opponent to turn their directions this way, right? And then next turn we can chariot. And then chariot can... Eat. Yeah, see, this isn't too bad, right? So he's soaking up four. Not the best, but not the worst play. Yeah, that. Ooh. Look off your face. Ooh, that's a decent draw for us. Now we just gotta hit it. Do we have double black? Do we need double red? No. So I think we keep black. That way we can play our Titan. So I think we chariot, and then we can block aggressively, right? Because we just need to leave one, so we could block. Kumano, they're gonna burn some spells here, which feels good. If we can draw our fifth land and verdict, man, that feels really good to me. Really good, right? And then we can, let's see. We can crew. 
Man, I really don't want to take the five. I was thinking we can crew it, right? We can crew it, sack the things, and then do it. Is that good enough? Okay, so they're looking to draw. Ooh, that doesn't feel too bad. Oh, they're a big red deck, so they're missing land? Oh, come on, deck. No! I guess not the worst, but that's not what I wanted to do. We wanted to do the thing, you know what I'm saying? We wanted to do the thing. All right, let's get in there. Make two two blockers so they don't get any free attacks <clears throat> now of course we are setting ourselves up right our verdict is going to be significantly worse here but we oh ah all right bonus game. well my friends that is the deck and yeah jund doing jund things what can i tell you five out of five for this deck i think this deck is very well positioned um i like the flexibility part of me probably feels we can go down like a heavy and up a gas just to shore up our early game <laughs> um other than that though sweet like you guys saw titan isn't as meme in this deck as you would think right we have chariot we have uh heavy we have adversary we have multiple ways of like getting it in there but that man that body's relevant for sure especially getting it off of olivia would have been sweet force we never got to live that dream but that's okay uh, yeah, five, five out of five for this deck. Obnixilus is just broken. You guys saw. He's freaking great. Um, but yeah, that's the deck, my friends. So thank you guys so much for writing the Struggle Bus with me today. I appreciate you. I hope you guys had as much fun as I did. Jund is one of my favorite uh, trifectas. So yeah, till next time, as always, happy gaming.